how do you view monster recommendations under here is a list of cards by quality good cards recommended cards universal cards here is a list of good thunder cards one enko setter two lightning rod lord three electric pirates four lightning chidori denko setter its effect cannot be special summoned while you control no set spells or trapped and the player can set spells or trapped or activate spell or trap cards that are set on the field good points one can be used to stop decks that like having a lot of back row two allows to attack safely in the battle phase as battle traps and spells are sealed this only applies to those set on the field there are times battle traps and spells can be activated from the hand bad points one the restrictions of this card apply to you so it's best to use a deck that doesn't really care about this card's restrictions lightning rod lord its effect neither player can activate spell cards during the main phase one Good point. One, useful against spell-heavy decks as they have to skip their battle phase to activate their effect. Two, combo-heavy decks use a lot of spells. This card slows them down considerably. Bad point. One, not good for your deck if your deck is a combo-based deck or spell-heavy. Electric virus. Its effect. You can discard this card to the graveyard. Then target one machine or dragon type monster your opponent controls. Take control of that target until the end of the phase. Good points. 1. Great card to have in the side deck to take control of machines and dragons. 2. Also fantastic bait card as if your opponent has a very powerful board which involves a dragon or machine. Using this gives you a way to break that board. 3. Plus extra bonus, this card is great in a Thunder based deck as you can search it with Thunder Dragon Fusion. Bad point. 1. None really. 90% of decks use dragons in Yu-Gi-Oh! Fun fact, dragons are the most supported type in Yu-Gi-Oh! So activating this effect in a duel is guaranteed. Lightning Chidori! Its effect. If this card is XYZ summoned, target one set card your opponent controls. Return that target to the bottom of the deck. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Then target one face-up card. Your opponent controls. Return that target to the top of the deck. Good points. 1. Excellent monster for removal. 2. Easy to summon as it's a rank 4. Bad points. 1. The materials to make it must be win. 2. Wind attribute along with the earth attribute are the least supported attribute in Yu-Gi-Oh! Recommended cards 1. Thunder Dragon Fusion 2. Thunder Dragon Colossus 3. Battery Man Solar 4. Thunder King the Lightning Strike Kaiju Thunder Dragon Fusion Here are its uses And here it is the spell card known as Thunder Dragon Fusion. Fusion summon one Thunder Fusion monster from the next deck by shuffling the fusion materials listed on it into the deck from your among your cards on the field, in your graveyard, and or your face up banished cards. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of Thunder Dragon Fusion once per turn. So essentially, this means you can add any Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. That's quite good. Thunder Dragon Colossus. Here are its uses. Here is the next card, Thunder Dragon Colossus. So let's read that effect. Must either be fusion summoned or special summoned during the turn a Thunder Monster's effect was activated in the hand by attributing one Thunder Monster effect non-fusion monster. In which case, you do not use polarization. Cards cannot be added from the main deck to your opponent's hand except by drawing them. If this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish one Thunder Monster from your graveyard instead. Battery Man Solar. Here are its uses. Here we go. Battery Man Solar. Its effect. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Thunder Monster from your deck to the graveyard. 
If a thunder monster is normal or special summoned, when this while this monster is on the field, special summon one battery man token. Thunder light level one attack zero defense zero. You can target one battery man effect monster you control, or in your graveyard. This card's name becomes that monster's until the end phase. You can only use each effect of battery man solar once per turn. So this is really quite a nice monster to set you up in your thunder based deck. You know, set up your, your combos. Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. Here are its uses. Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. It's a fact. You can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in attack position by tributing one monster they control. If your opponent controls a Kaiju monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. You can only control one Kaiju monster. Once per turn, you can remove three Kaiju monsters counters. From anywhere on the field, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated for the rest of this turn. Also, this card can make up to three attacks during each battle phase this turn. Universal Dance Thunder Dragon Fusion Thunder Dragon Titan Electric Virus Battery Man Solar Thunder Dragon Colossus Thunder King Ryo Thunderclap Monk Lightning Chidori Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju, Sum, Summer, Summoner, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Storm Mech, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, Dragon Dark, Thunder Dragon Hawk, Thunder Dragon Roar, Thunder Dragon Duo, Genko Seca, Lightning Roared Lord. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.